secret that college costs a whole lot of money. Yeah. Those costs were already scrutinized, but the pandemic has forced many families to take an even deeper look into their child's future education. Channel 3's Caitlin Nuclo has some advice on how to get a head start in your planning in this week's Money Monday report. So the cost of going to college has skyrocketed. Laura Petraka is the deputy editor of Millie Magazine. The University of Pennsylvania alone in 1950 was $600 a year for tuition. Now it's close to $55,000 a year. Of course, how much you pay will depend on what college you choose. But in general, most people will pay tens of thousands of dollars for a college education. She recommends parents use a college calculator to try to plan out the cost. Oh no, that's years out. It could be 17 years out. It could be 10 years out, but it's still really important to get a ballpark figure of what college may cost you. Many colleges have prices out there that will make your eyes pop. And then start saving early. One of the best things that parents can do as early as possible is to open a 529 savings plan. This is an amazing tax advantage to count that you can use to save for college. These 529 plans are very similar to a work 401k in that they're paid for qualified educational costs while your 401k pays for your retirement. And others, like family members, can contribute to it as well. When it comes time to send them off to campus, that can be one part of how you'll pay. Many money experts, though, talk about tackling tuition with the rule of thirds. The second third is covered by parental income, and the third part of that is covered by student loans. Do not put your child's education costs above your retirement funding. So your child can always get student loans to go to college. You can't get a loan for retirement. That's your Money Monday report. I'm Caitlin Nuclo, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Now, Millie Magazine is a financial tips and advice magazine that targets millennials. It is published by the parent company of this television station, the Meredith Corporation.